everyone, Fizgus here. I wanted to make this tutorial about the GPS guided weapons, the JDAMs. Uh, this tutorial will be uh, more specific uh, to mostly. Let's go through the through the list here. Um, it'll be most useful for the class of weapons that are unguided, or sorry, not unguided. Without uh, guiding, um, uh, without gliding capabilities, uh, but they also apply to them uh, in, ex in an extent uh, on the demonstration later on. Um, it's mostly for the free fall ones. <clears throat> so this uh, this procedure applies to uh, primarily these ones, the GPU thirty ones, both of them. Uh, both the high explosive and the uh, penetrating warhead one. Uh, the GBU-38, both the high explosive and the inert one. Uh, it applies to the JDAM function of the GBU-54 and not the laser guided uh, function for obvious reasons. Uh, it also applies, uh, but the, uh, the, the different, there will be a difference with the uh, bomb fall lines and the, the range and the symbology. But it, uh, to a basic extent, it applies also to the GBU 38s. Uh, correction, the GBU 39s, the small damage bombs. Uh, to the CBU 103, 104, and 105s, which are cluster uh, munition when corrected uh, cluster munitions. And also, finally, to the JSAW and the JASM. Uh, however, these, in conjunction with the small diameter bomb, the GBU-39, uh, these have a guiding, uh, gliding capability, I keep saying guiding, gliding capability that will increase uh, their range uh, tremendously. So how do we go about using these weapons uh, prior, to, um, uh, prior to our flight? Uh, this TE already uh, set up the aircraft here in the air for the demonstration. Uh, but with, what you need to do is on uh, while you are here in the 2D screen, and this is why this video is starting on this screen, is to go on to your target. In this case, is the uh, Heiju shipyard port. You go and hit recon. Sorry, you go on here. You go on to the target and you right click and recon. If the target list is not here, it's possible that it's not. You can just hit targets and it show up. Uh, you pick one of whatever one of these targets here on this list. Uh, for this demonstration, I hit I set this uh, warehouse as my target, and personally, I like to set my targets uh, from steer point 99 on down, decreasing 99, 98, whatever. Uh, I don't like personally to set up uh, target steer points. Uh, to uh, go along with my uh, with my navigation steer points because that that might interfere with times on targets, speeds on targets, and all that. So I like to keep those separate. Um, so for these, but that's personal preference. Uh, for the for this one, I set up this warehouse as steer point ninety nine. I hit accept. We can close this off. Final step, which is important, and sometimes I've 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 been known to forget this step as well uh, at, on occasion. We can go to data cartridge. On targets, on the target page here of the uh, of the data cartridge page, make sure that whatever target the steer point number you selected, make sure that it has the your intended target. If it does, you hit save. Saved OK. We should, with this, we should be good to go for the pre-briefed mode. Uh, I will jump into VR and uh, I will continue in a second. Okay, here we are in the air with uh, our JDAMs loaded in the aircraft. Now, what needs to be done is, as usual, air to ground mode. And this is the power of um, 
the power of active pause, I will go ahead and hit power on. Uh, you can stay in the SMS page, it's fine. This um, this weather situation, while this uh, the weapon gets aligned, this uh, environment uh, or um, weather situation is a good uh, demonstration of uh, how these weapons can be used in these sorts of conditions, even if this was all overcast, all covered with clouds. Uh, GPS guided weapons with using the method I showed before. You don't need to see the target if you did that procedure correctly. They should impact uh, the target with no issues. So while this aligns, we can go on here and that's uh, arming delay. Uh, there, there are the impact angles and azimuth and impact velocity. I still need to figure these out, um, and I might do a follow-up on this video once I figure how to configure these. Once I figure that out, because uh, it's supposed to, uh, the JDM is supposed to hit at an impact angle that you set. So, if, say for example, you're coming in, uh, say from like in the situation northeast from southwest ish. Uh, northeast to southwest, um, sorry, southeast to northwest ish, and you are supposed to be able to hit uh, the impact angle here and define um, define uh, an impact angle from which you want uh, the the JDAM to impact. Same with the impact azimuth. But I have mostly never been able to figure this out. Maybe I've been inputting here uh, incorrect values. I will figure that out. And once I do, I will uh, maybe uh, follow up on this video. Um, the So you can cycle through different profiles if you have different configurations. on. Um, which uh, And there is an arming delay here that you can if uh, you are planning on using these on low altitude, six seconds, uh, six seconds arming delay is fine because I'm at 20, uh, 25,000 feet. Uh, but you um, you can set this to uh, much lower, for example, 0.1 seconds. One and there you go. It's basically uh, an instant arm at release. Uh, I'm going to set it back to seconds. So here it is. Let's see if the weapon has finished alignment. There it is. Ready. Now, as I fly to the target area, I will go ahead and go master arm on. And here it's a ready signal on here. Down here. So we will maintain uh, the we will maintain uh, the target locked, air to ground mode, and I will disengage active pause. As you're flying to the target, mind this, uh, mind the range hue here to the top right. This varies with, uh, as with uh, other weapon systems in the F-16, with speed and altitude. These bombs, these are 2,000 pound bombs. They won't go very far. Uh, however, GPU 38s and 54s will go a little further, and SDBs, JSAL, um, and JASM will go a lot further because they can glide. As I'm speeding up, the uh, range hue is increasing slightly. I will, I will even go ahead and disengage the altitude hold and climb a little bit while on afterburner to demonstrate that the weapon can successfully uh, be released at higher altitudes and with much and from much uh, longer ranges. I'm slowing down now. 28,000 is pretty high.
Okay. Holding the weapon release button. We got... And there we go. Bruiser came off the left wing. I'm going to... Fly off the target. Um, dead amps or fire and forget. You release them and you can do uh, some evas uh, evasive maneuvers, uh, do whatever whatever you have to. You do not need to overfly the target. You do not need to maintain a visual on the target. Uh, on occasions, um, sometimes flying the mission, we just go to the target area and release the weapons and it's uh, after the mission on tack view and then the debrief that we figure out if the weapon actually impacted or not. Going to engage altitude hold again. Now, while we are coming around, I will demonstrate the usage of this weapon with TGP. However, there is another another one that I will briefly cover. Not a lot of people use use this mode, but it it, it exists. So it is the uh, visual mode. So the visual mode is is uh, much like the Maverick in on in which you. Uh, slew, you slew the little cursor there on the heads-up display. And then when you find a target, you just simply TMS up. And you, uh, you designate a target, or you ground stabilize, and then you refine it a little bit, and then it drops on that point. Uh, there was a web, there was a way to, um slew that onto the helmet mounted queuing system but um, I will make a um, I will make a dedicated video uh, for that in the future so I'm going back to pre mode uh, and I'm going to bring up the PGP and the and the target is over there to the north, I'm going to bring the aircraft around. While I'm turning the aircraft, set, set the uh, TGP page as soy. Okay, now, this time I want to engage this dock here on the eastern side. I'm going to go put that as a point track. No laser, no laser arming needed. And now, just uh, fly... Uh, Head to the target, fly, uh, fly the bomb fall line, trying to uh, maintain the wings level without trimming. And this mode is useful in uh, if you're engaging targets of opportunity. But keep in mind, JDAMs will not track moving targets; they are only useful for buildings or stationary targets. So, bomb fall lines coming down. Press and hold the, uh, the weapon release button and pave way. Okay, my wings are cleared. Caution! Caution! Get it back to cat one. I'm going to maintain the TGP locked on the target. Like I mentioned before, this is not needed for. Um, for these types of engagements, just for the benefit of watching the bomb fall in. Here we have the uh, time to impact. The cloud is about to obstruct the target area, I think. 
but it it is fine because the um, the bomb is already going after this GPS coordinate right here that the TGP feeds to the bomb. So even if the target gets obstructed or even if we um, if the TGP gets masked for some reason, uh, there is no issue as long as the target is stationary, the bomb should hit it. Three seconds to impact. Target is totally obstructed now. And I see, yep, I think. Yeah, there it is. It's the, there's an impact. I see smoke and I think I see fire. Yeah, there it is. Some fire uh, coming from that dock. So uh, that is the usage of the uh, GBU-31 uh, in this case, but uh, this same uh, this same procedure, like I mentioned, in the 2D screen, the same procedure applies to every type of JDAM and even the GBU-54, which is a JDAM slash, slash laser guided weapon. The procedure is exactly the same if you wish to employ all of those weapons in, the, in their GPS mode and against pre-briefed targets. This mode I just showed is useful for target of opportunity um, situations where you're flying through an area and you see that there is something that you want to hit. You still have ammunitions available to you. You can still do that just as long, like I said, as it is a stationary target. Hopefully that was useful. Uh, if you have some feedbacks, uh, some feedback, let me know, and I will see you all later.